Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn about analysis and evaluation of solid axle fuel cell based waste heat recovery system, shortly known as WHRS. This MATLAB script example shows overall solid axle fuel cell performance and overall solid axle fuel cell performance with waste heat recovery systems. It is suitable for waste heat, re waste heat recovery for fuel cells and also uh, these examples and analysis uh, evaluation is suitable for waste heat recovery for fuel cell electric vehicle also. Okay, these are all the things. There are some useful methods to recover waste heat uh, in fuel cell systems. One of the system uh, it's uh, it obtained from uh, source the Mounis Nursery, uh, IEEE 2016 11th International Conference Ecological Vehicle and Renewable Energies. Uh, they have given waste heat recovery for fuel cell electrical vehicle thermochemical energy storage model. This, this combined method also uh, can be applied to high temperature fuel cell systems particularly for solid axle fuel cell system. It, all, it can be also suitable for the low temperature fuel cell systems also. Here when the waste heat is used for fuel reforming process the overall efficiency of fuel cell system can achieve about 60 percent. For the combined solid axle fuel cell system with gas turbine or any other micro gas turbine a net electrical efficiency can be greater than 60 percent and the system efficiency also is much better is greater than 80 percent. The combined heat and power in fuel cell systems is a good option when heat and electricity both uh, need to supply. And another one is uh, waste, wa waste heat recovery systems uh, in engine and heat exchanger block. Here uh, heated water required from the exhaust and coolant and engine exhaust and engine coolants also that fuel cell are uh, the one of the cleanest ways of uh, generating electricity electricity and as they gain uh, gain popularity the waste heat recovery of these systems becomes increasingly increasingly more important this is because it's possible to reuse the waste heat uh, that the system produces for the purpose of reaching a higher overall efficiency for the entire system Certain fuel, fuel cells such as proton exchange membrane fuel cells can operate at low temperatures with an efficiency close to 60%, make them well suited for non-stationary applications such as vessels or vehicles. Nowadays the popular one is fuel cell, hydrogen based uh, fuel cell vehicles. Here these are all the MATLAB script uh, used, here, used for applying the fuel cell inputs. Here the fuel cell utilization that is a uh, SOFC efficiency, you can set the operating temperature can set the ACDC efficiency and power requirement, electrodes activation potential constant, concentration loss constant, concentration loss index, ohmic resistance, silk current, activation voltage. These are all the inputs are the again this is a solid axle fuel cell parameters we need to set the operating temperature, average Gibbs free, energy change, particular gas constant of air, product of partial freshers, equilibrium constant and farad number fuel cell thickness, fuel cell area and solid axle fuel cell density also. These are the result we can obtain after executing the MATLAB script. In the command lambda we can see the overall fuel cell performance that is output 170 uh, kJ per more and theoretical efficiency is 67 percent, the actual efficiency is 49, the open circuit voltage is 0.88 and cell voltage is given there. Here we can see the overall uh, total weight of the system and CO2 emissions per uh, kilowatt per ampere and wor work output from the uh, H2 fuel and also uh, a fuel consumption per day uh, you can calculate the power provided by the system and power supply per stack the heat generated from the systems also you can get the result in the form of uh, output as in command window. Here the second one overall fuel cell performance with waste uh, heat uh, recovery systems. Here heat recovered from the system is 6059.486 kilowatts and the new fuel consumption rate is 1.13 kilogram per second the new fuel consumption is per day is 98.135 tons now the system efficiency is improved with 59.7026 now let us see the simulation uh, with the MATLAB script file here you can see these are the fuel cell inputs and these are solid axle fuel cell parameters here you can give the combustion efficiency and overall fuel cell performance and with WHRS and these are the fuel cell properties you can see at the time of at the time of executing you can see the result in command window now uh, you see I want to run this MATLAB script file here now we can get the fuel cell utilization 0.9 this is almost 90 percent it's operating temperature we can set 1000 these are the specification we given by us then now 
the cycle operating points properties is shown the maximum temperature of the cycle is 1273 and the output is minus 170 and theoretical efficiency what we are given what you are uh, got you can see in ppm presentation section that time here it shows overall fuel cell performance with the whrs now it is required from uh, required from the system is 60 6059.486 kilowatts i hope you understand this concept i hope uh, you can apply uh, into fuel cell electric vehicle and waste heat recovery for fuel cells um, and analysis and evaluation you can use you can also change the parameters uh, value uh, as as it is here you can for your trial and error purpose you can give the overall uh, fuel inputs and solid fuel, solid axle fuel cell parameters you can set the operating temperature you can fix the particular gas constant of air you can see the equilibrium constant and fuel cell thickness also you can change fuel cell area you can change fuel cell inputs you can analyze and evaluate your own uh, design is particularly for fuel cell electric vehicle i hope you enjoy this video if you like this video uh, please subscribe my channel and also share the content to your friends and students don't forget to give the worthy comments on my video channel videos thank you thank you for watching thanks a lot